What's up, y'all? This is uh, my bold product set up here. And I um, originally bought it as a little kit, and it, it came with like 16 gallon totes, really small ones. I think they look kind of like this guy right here. Now I switched it up and I got uh, I got a little bigger here because you can't grow a lot in a 16 gallon tote. But it's 32 gallon here and they do get bigger than this. But I, I run it with uh, 10 gallons in there. And it's just enough to cover up the pump. And of course you got hydrogen rock, rock wool and inch and a half uh, cubes and instead of that stupid pump that came with that kit I switched up to General Hydroponics uh, pump there sorry about the light but this is just a four outlet air pump and you want to get a good one because that's really gonna boost your plants and per tote uh, minimum of your uh, your bubblers, you need at least four bubblers. I mean, you get that in uh, six bubblers, and get the glass air stones because they can just be cleaned with uh, boiled and white vinegar and water, and you can reuse them over and over. And it's a four-inch net pot right here, and there's my line coming up there. First part there is just mostly all uh, hydrogen grow rocks. Yep, just a standard pump. This one has six outlets. This tote is made to grow six plants, so I'm not I'm not growing six plants. I'm just rotating two every so often. This one here has a uh, I got six uh, those little little tiny uh, air glass stones they're about 10 bucks a piece and i got teas in every one so i split a line and then i got two uh, air stones per line and you see the pump right now is running on a timer it goes off every hour for about three minutes and I guess that's about it. Um, we'll go over this right here. Um, since I'm only growing one plant, I don't need the reservoir. I don't need the reserve reservoir because it's just one plant. It's not using up 10 gallons or whatever. But if I run all these totes, I could run up to four or, or more. This is as many as I want. And they all attach with, uh, I think it's inside diameter is half inch and outside is five eighths and it's just a black plastic hose this right here is set at uh, a 10 gallon marker by a float switch there's a this float switch in here that originally came with uh, the kit this here just <coughs> It's just for uh, setting your. See, this one would be set to like 10 gallons. So, in your main coat where the plants are, it would be 10 gallons as well. Whenever this drops, it opens up this hole right here. And this, uh, this would be called the nutrient reserve tote. Anyways, when this. this your float switch drops, this one just fills it up. Now if you're running a lot of plants, like 24 plants, I would have this set up if I had 24 plants because they'd be sucking down the nutrients. Now with four totes in this setup, that's 60 gallons of water. So it's quite a bit of work. And if you do want to run that, then you gotta think about where you're gonna where you're gonna get rid of all your water and stuff. That's the main thing. It would be nice just to have a grow house with you know floor drains, so you just open up the valves these valves right here anyways I think uh, everything
everything though, you could get off of Amazon. Don't buy the kit. Get your own tote, get your own mats, get your own rock wool, get your own hydrogen grow rocks. Um, try to find those similar valves down there and um, you gotta get your airline air pump. You need them. If you're not gonna grow a lot, you don't really need the that um, half inch uh, ID black hose. Um, well, I think they got some. Just to show you. Right. And these just fit right over those the the hoses down there and shit. So I got an extra long one just to drain my stuff out. Um. Other than that, you know, your nutrients and stuff, you want to mix up in a separate tote and get it down to your pH level just right. And after that, check up on it every day. Especially after mixing nutrients the next day, you want to check your your pH levels to make sure they don't fluctuate over the night. And uh, I guess that's about it. Um, this is a... Little plan I got going here. It's only it's about a week old. I just put it in here a week ago, but it's on second tier. And it's looking pretty good. Uh, it's Blackberry Kush Auto by uh, Dutch Passion. Um, on this one, I do got the 192, and that's probably a little over two feet above it there. But other than that, I think that's about it. You know, you need some timers. You picked up a couple there. Now if you want to get air circulation going on that timer, you can use it up for three timers. Especially if you're going to use a, <coughs> a carbon filter to fan to get rid of the smells. And an inline fan to bring in Fresh air. Alright. That's all. Later.